Hello again everyone, Bob Martin with the Nautilus Dry Docks and this is going to be another tip video and this time I want to talk about waterproof motors. So one of the challenges of working with submarines is that you need to keep certain aspects of the boat dry and one of the challenging things is a motor because you've got a spinning shaft that needs to seal uh, against the ingress of water. So what you can typically do is use a standard electric motor and insert a seal uh, and that seals everything from coming out. But if you need a kind of a quick and dirty solution, an off-the-shelf solution, which is kind of interesting to try out, um, you might want to try a bilge motor, uh, a bilge pump. Uh, you can get these from any marine supply store. Uh, you can get them online and they're cheap. Uh, these particular ones, uh, Shoreline Marine, uh, I think I paid about $15 for them. And this is how they come uh, from the place that you'll be getting it from. Uh, now obviously this is big and bulky, it doesn't look uh, particularly good, but with a little bit of work, and I do mean a little bit, um, you can get it into quite a trim little package and that looks something more like this. Um, the only important part is the motor housing, uh, the seal on the second part, and then the seal on the main shaft. And like I said, this comes ready to go off the shelf. Now I'm going to be using these in this Alvin build to drive the thrusters uh, and as that spins you'll see I've got a flex shaft in there and that's going to spin uh, the propellers. So those will mount off the side. And when I do that I don't need to put it inside my watertight box. It's outside. The only thing I need to run it is a power outlet outside the box. So let's take a quick look and we'll see how we convert this into this. Okay the first thing that we're going to want to do with this is pop off the uh, housing that protects the impeller. You can see the impeller inside there. This is a centrifugal pump. Uh, this is all integrated into the housing. It's uh, sealed up against water ingress and so what you're going to actually need to do is cut this off. Uh, a couple different ways of doing it. You can use a uh, hacksaw, you can use uh, a Dremel tool, or in this particular case I am going to use a bandsaw. Now you don't want to go in there too much but you do have a lot of room. You can see there's about a half inch gap uh, for error in there. Just don't obviously slice all the way through. Uh, you know just go in about an eighth of an inch work your way around. So that's what I'm going to do here right now and then I'll show you what we've got to work with afterwards. And that was it. Literally one minute's worth of work and now we've got this. So you can see we've got the impeller uh, on the end and the cool thing about this is that's just friction fit. Um, a little bit of a tug and it comes right off. And now uh, you've got a shaft that's about two millimeters in diameter. It's already got a flat on it. Uh, so really the only thing left to do uh, is clean up your edges with a little bit of filing or sandpaper and you've got a ready to go motor. Now obviously these aren't designed to last forever. Uh, the seals in them are probably not as good as the ones that you'll get uh, if you were to get like a cup seal and install that as a separate component in a, in a ready built uh, watertight cylinder. But they are exceptionally good. They're designed to last a long time by companies with a lot of money. Um, and the really good news is if it goes bad on you, another 15 bucks and about five minutes worth of work and you got a replacement part. So there you go. That's another tip if you want a remote motor uh, in your boat or if you want to run one outside the watertight cylinder. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. This was another one of Bob's modeling tips for RC submarines. Make sure to visit my website nautilusdrydocks.com for many other tips, resources, and fun things to buy for the RC submarine hobby. Thanks again. We'll catch you next time.